Yeah, I just will tune it again. Okay. I just wanted to like fucking relax, but fuck. You can relax, I'm not telling you, do you? Russ goes twice a week to jam, and you know, it's kind of like a boys' club for him. And, and I, I say to him, you know, if you guys got any tighter, you'd be up each other's ass. Like, you're so tight, right? But they, they take it very seriously, you know? Definitely the um, personality, and he's he's the one that sets the bar for how jam goes. This is the we get a gig tonight. We're a little short short on merch, so we figured we'd make some more before we went. <laughs> yeah. That's after. Very, very nice. Not bad. So it's basically what's gonna look like, except they get done professionally. It's gonna be a full out. It's gonna be like a two page fold out with more pictures. It'll be a lot cooler, but it's not bad. For 10 bucks, 14 tunes, you can't go wrong. Who's driving near you? Uh, Do you want it? Rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors? You up for the challenge? One. Two, three. 
Oh, gotcha. Oh, it's best out of three. <laughs> it's not one. <laughs> right? It's best of three. <laughs> one, two, three. Two, three. Oh, we're at a tie. We're at a tie. This one wins. Ooh. Oh! Ah, snipped ya! Cut ya! They've been friends since they were seven, eight years old. Yeah, they spent a lot of time together. And Russ said, oh, you know, I'm Wade, like, I'm gonna learn how to play like, the guitar. And then Wade's like, well, then I'll play the bass. And that's what they did. I'll push him ahead from behind. Go. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh. Sweet. Not how often do the gym? <laughs> We've had discussions about this. I say two, three times a week, usually. Usually twice. Is, what, how many times would you like to see? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm fine with two times a week, but when it goes over two times a week, I think it's kind of excessive, because they're not out playing shows, and it takes away from family time, because there's, you know, only seven days in a week. And he's getting called into work all the time, so. I'm a sprinkler fitter. Yeah, I'm a millery. Music doesn't pay the bills anymore. No. Uh, how often do you guys get together to play in movies? Well, it's tough right now because we're both married and with kids, but we for sure once a week and try to get together two or three times if we can and then shows on the weekend, if that's what we're doing. And you guys have been playing together in a band consistently since you were 16? Yep, pretty much, yeah, okay. pretty much. Okay, and who's okay. this? It's my daughter, Tia. I have some candy. I'll share it. Yeah, okay, we'll get it off the fireplace. What was it like with uh, um, Dio's bar? Is it... For jamming? Yeah. Cool. No, that was rough because we lived so far out of town. And then you were working like 10 hour days. And 10 hour? 12. 14. Yeah. Well, I never seen you. For the first year she was born, I never seen you. Worked weekends, seven days a week. Because it was working and jamming. Yep. Ready? Uh, music is uh, heavy but kind of groovy. Heavy groove. together for um, 17 years, something like that. Since we were 13. Yeah. yeah. We do most of the writing together, we always have. I don't know, I think it's just 
something inside you and once you get a taste of it you don't ever want to stop doing it What's the name of that? Oh, we just got a name, actually. It's uh, Chaos Theory. Well, we started off with uh, kind of a death metal band, Necrobiosis. And we had Parasitic Trends. I'm starting to think the world might hate you. I slide back in my shell to greet you. Through this blindfold, I see images. Things that you wish that you could hide. As the black is falling from the heavens. Missing that like rain and stained your eyes. Tell me, do you want to die? We had another incarnation called Parasitic. When I got here, they were called Crawl Space. And then it was in Crawl Space. Change of the bodies found. Wade and Wayne liked the name Junkies Rush, and I said, right on. first it's not your first gig but it's your first full length album right cd release yes yep what the hell? i remember you here you were filming us for our very first show which ended up being our very first music video at the same time <laughs> same jam spot same gear Doing our first show. It's gonna be nice. It's outside. At a bike shop. It's gonna be. It's gonna be wicked. Like a lot of people, hopefully. A lot of chicks in bikinis. Because you can't have a gig without chicks in bikinis. But all these guys here are married, so all the chicks in bikinis are from. We're on in like three hours ish. And it's fucking gonna rule, man. Look at how gross this is, man. Oh. 
Look at this. Oh. No. Wipe it. Wipe it. These guys don't know the word maintenance. Oh my god. What's Look at all the goop on it. That's why we play in the dark. Yeah. Ah! Uh. <laughs> no, this is that red sweat. That's sweat, sweat dude. beer. Oh, and that's a homemade guitar case. Parasitic. With, it's got a C in it, so you have the word acid. Yes, it's it. acidy. Oh, that was our first name. First among many. Yeah. We've gone through a few. We've gone through about four in the past year. Four, we've gone through four names in the last two weeks. <laughs> oh. This song's got to go in a specific order, right? And it's got to be some cool shit, and then some mellow shit, and then you gotta punch him in the face again. You know, so there's moving stuff around, and you know, being a an indie band like we are, we don't have money for paper and stuff, so we got to use both sides. So this is, <laughs> and and these things here are the cues that tells me <laughs> how the song start. Like broken pieces starts with vocals. That's why it says vocal. Mine is the counting one. Cheers, everybody. If you got a drink, raise it up. Counting one is when he starts singing, he's counting. You'll see. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Mine.
see my way. Yeah, God, God. Come on, we're to see my way. God, God. Come on, we're to see my way. Yeah, God, God. Come on, we're to see my way. Sadly, um, we got no. We got sixteen. We got sixteen. We only have eight cases. Eight cases. Oh. But sadly, unfortunately, that'll be more than enough. But hopefully, not for much longer. For the size of audience, or for how many you think it might sell? Sell. Yeah, Both, we don't spend really. much time at the merch booth. Not when, it's, not when it's in Calgary, right? Because most people who come to our shows have all the stuff, right? We might sell the new dish because nobody has this yet, right? Yeah. Think we should take some of those other ones and blow them out at five bucks or whatever? That just have the sticker on them and the songs? If we sell out of these ones. Yeah, that's what I mean. Just okay. bring them with us. Yeah. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> A couple months back, we were ranked seven for Reverb Nation's metal charts. Alberta, so that's pretty cool. We were ranked 13 in the country. Fan base in Calgary, then I guess. It's not bad. I hope you can hear me in your campers. Junkies Rush is playing. Time to get up. Drop me! 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 Drop me!
getting better is because it's getting fewer and fewer and fewer places to play, right? But in the same respect, you can't play too often because then people get sick of you because there's not that many places to play. But the flip side is if you don't play enough, then they forget about you. So you got to find that happy medium, right? I'm definitely moving forward in a circle. People are always talking about that one, man. I'm always getting feedback about that one. Video, both videos, Relax and and uh, Broken Pieces, the videos are on there. If I can get these fucking stickers off. And then today, I just put four tunes on there of the finish, finish, done. I put on, put 4,000 pounds, what you've done, Obsession. I can't remember that I put up. Friend, I think. Radio days. I don't remember doing a radio days thing. Back when you were so you guys were using a drum machine. Yep. Goddamn stickers. And when I came back, I just basically learned they sent me a they sent me a disc of all their tunes. But it was the drum machine on it. And I just learned so when I found out I was moving back to town. So I learned a couple of them and then fucking came back to town. We've been trying to rip it up ever since, really. So only bring these ones out, and when we run out of those. Then we'll bring those up. Because yeah. these have the final mix. Those are the last version. So we don't really want to sell them, but we don't want to run out either. <laughs> 